Spotlight. Keep one of those hundreds for yourself. Can't do that. Yeah, no, you're gonna need it. I am. Why? Taking me to lunch. <laughs> He's charming, irresistible, and irresponsible all in one package. No, we're not talking about Richard Gere, the actor. We're talking about Mr. Jones, Gere's newest character in the film of the same name. Mr. Jones can be lovable and carefree one minute, then deeply depressed and suicidal the next. The movie is the story of a man who suffers from a manic depressive disorder and the relationship he develops with his psychiatrist, played by Lena Olin. I wanted to take an audience on a trip with this guy, and we structured the film so that we would subjectively feel his experiences. As you know, the first third is, is a very high experience. It's very f funny, it's, it's energetic, it's charming. And then we pulled the rug out from under and, and showed the belly side of, of the illness. You're an interesting man, Mr. Jones. Would you want to make me ordinary? The fragile doctor-patient relationship is the center of the storyline, but it's Gear's performance that makes the movie. Sometimes he's fabulously funny, sometimes he's frighteningly down. Gear, who's also executive producer of the film, says even though the character was so intense, he found the wild pace of the film refreshing. It's much harder playing a normal, in quotes, character. Um, I think when you can take a dive and just run with a character like this, you're more burned in the experience of doing it. And in the burning, there's no residue left over, so there's no problem. There was a problem for Gear in this film, and that was his character's affection for heights. I have an incredible fear of heights. Was this something... Me too. That you do have a fear of heights? Me too, yes. <laughs> so how was, was that for you? I was terrified. And I heard where and you said something where you wrote out your will on the way to work <laughs> yes. that morning? Yes, on the way into work that morning, I didn't tell my wife that... Uh, that I would be doing this out on the end of a beam, 100 feet in the air. And I, with shaking, trembling hands, I did write out a will <laughs> before I, I showed up to work. Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10 Eyewitness News, Daybreak.